Russia versus Ukraine. Ukraine receives the most lethal weapon. Putin is doomed. A $1 million missile. Vladimir Putin is now the number one global enemy, given his audacious attempt to interfere in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and his recent brutal invasion of Ukraine. It's then understandable that there has been a lot of support for Ukraine from the West in terms of weapons, military training, and money. But it's even more understandable that President Vladimir Zelensky, who's highly skilled in public relations, is leveraging his country's David status to repeatedly demand more of these arms to battle the invading and evil Russian Goliath. As the war has progressed since the Russian invasion in late February, the United States and European countries have been sending more advanced weaponry, including NATO standard tanks or fighter jets to Ukraine. Zelensky says he needs such arms to back Russia into a corner before winter sets in and brings muddy conditions that makes fighting more difficult. He says Ukraine has the advantage and needs to press it. The HIMARS One of those weapons sent is the US HIMARS, the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. The HIMARS is a missile launcher mounted on a five-ton truck that can fire six guided missiles in quick succession. It's been used to launch rockets with lethal effectiveness into Russian command posts and supply depots around 50 miles away behind enemy lines. The missiles supplied to Ukraine have a range of up to 50 miles 80 kilometers, which is over twice the range of the howitzer guns, which the US has previously given to Ukraine. The HIMARS can also fire a Single Army Tactical Missile System missile, or ATAMCS for short, which has a range of 186 miles. The 50-mile range is roughly similar to that of Russian Smirch missiles, but HIMARS fires GPS-guided missiles which can be more accurately targeted. Also, the Biden administration has sent high-speed anti-radiation missiles, HARMS, to home in on and destroy Russian radars and harpoon anti-ship missiles to threaten the Russian naval superiority of Ukraine's coast. Ukraine have now demanded more sophisticated U.S. longer-range weapons, such as F-15 and F-16 fighter jets and the dreaded Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS, which can lob ballistic missiles up to 190 miles. All these systems could be used to strike Russian-occupied Crimea or even Russia itself. The ATACMS the most sophisticated weapon of all these is the ATACMS. The long-range missiles can strike targets 190 miles away, with a warhead containing about 375 pounds of explosives. It can be fired from the HIMARS mobile launchers that the United States has provided Ukraine, as well as from older M270 launchers sent from Britain and Germany. The subject of these weapons has been a sensitive one because the White House fears that Ukraine could use the long-range missile to strike the targets deep inside Russia, and the President Vladimir V. Putin might respond by escalating the war, possibly by invading a neighboring NATO country. We're trying to avoid World War III, President Biden said. But President Zelensky said the weapon is crucial to his country's ability to launch a wider counteroffensive after its recent advances. He's also insisted that he's no plans to strike Russian cities or target civilians. The missile was developed in a bid to convince you to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. But truthfully, the missile was developed in the 1980s to destroy high-value Soviet targets deep behind enemy lines. It was built as a rare guided weapon at a time when the United States mainly relied on dumb bombs and other unguided munitions for attacking targets on Ground Zero. Today, the Pentagon has two versions of the ATACMS in its inventory, the cluster weapon and the one that carries a single explosive charge. ATACMS is also the Army's oldest service-launched missile currently in service, and a prototype of its replacement is being test-fired at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. That new weapon will be called the Precision Strike Missile. Since the Trump administration chose to exit that pact in early 2019, the Pentagon has accelerated the development of the Precision Strike missile, which is smaller and can fly much further than its predecessor. Two can fit in the same size container that carries a single tactical missile. How deadly is the weapon? 
The ATA CMS has a maximum firing range of 190 miles, and the missile can protect Ukrainian territory or fly deep into Russian territory to attack. The ATA CMS is 13 feet long, 24 inches wide, weighs 3,690 pounds, and wields a 500 pound WDU 18B penetrating high explosive blast fragmentation warhead. Once fired, the surface to surface missile can fly as high as 160,000 feet at a top speed above Mach 3. For precision, the ATA CMS has a GPS aided inertial navigation guidance system that ensures the missile strikes its target spot on or at least within 30 feet of it. The HIMARS can be loaded with a maximum of one ATA CMS at a time, although its lid is patterned with six circles. This pattern makes it more challenging for enemy intelligence to single out and attack the HIMARS that hold the more lethal, more decisive ATA CMS rocket. The cost of firing a single ATA CMS exceeds $1 million. This cost will soon be reflected in the weapon's capabilities in defending Ukraine, should it need to. However, the ATA CMS wouldn't be the only heavy artillery involved in the war as Russia has some representatives of its own, such as the OTR-21 Tokta and the 9K-720 Iskander, both of which could take on the ATA CMS in terms of specifications. Today, the most lethal missile that can be launched from the HIMARS remains the ATA CMS. It's as powerful as Ukraine would like, and more importantly, powerful as Ukraine would need to keep the Russian forces worried from 190 miles away and hopefully end the war. Ukraine need to win the war for world peace, and you can contribute to that. How? By subscribing to the channel so you can stay updated on everything going on in Ukraine. Thank you.